Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick video on DC motors. You get DC motors in absolutely everything. Uh, from DVD players to old video players uh, to you know drills. Anything that really has an electric motor. Usually if it's quite small, it's going to be a DC motor. So as you can see, I've got a bucket full of motors here. And what I just wanted to do was... You know, take, open some of these up <clears throat> and see if it's worth harvesting the copper that's inside them. Now, at the moment, these little motors would go for something like 12 pence a kilo, uh, which is not a lot of money at all. And obviously, inside them, they do contain copper wire, as you can see a few of them here. And there's one there. It's got a little bit of aluminium on the outside, uh, and it's got a lot of copper wire in the inside. So... I have to punch that through, release uh, the spindle, and that will then release the other pieces. And this uh, this copper reel is only just held in through the ferrite magnet around the edge. So once you get these bits out, it's just the ferrite magnet holding it in. You can just pop that out. So there's lots of different sizes, lots of different shapes of these DC motors. Uh, so I was just going to take you through some. Uh, and just uh, let you see kind of what's in them and then you can decide and judge for yourself if it's worth taking these apart now what I would say is if you count your time and effort then it is 100% not worth taking these apart at all uh, but you know I do this as a, a bit of a hobby and you know I'll be sitting watching the football or whatever on TV and I'll just uh, you know take some of these apart unwind them and put them in my copper pile. So it does add up. Uh, I've been doing these a couple of uh, nights now. Uh, and I'll show you kind of what I've got. I'll try and not make a mess doing it. I'll make a little bit of a mess. So there's kind of the copper pile. You see one of these kind of sweetie boxes. Uh, and that's a big pile of copper in there. As you can see, some of these motors do have different coloured copper. You do get copper wire that can be coloured. Uh, some blue in there, some green. But the majority of it, as you can see, is your standard copper. Uh, so to me, you know, getting all of that <clears throat> uh, from just doing these for a couple of days, uh, to me, seems like it's worth taking them apart. Yeah, because... If you're simply going for yield and you know getting the most uh, out of out of the money that you can, then certainly to me taking them apart. Some of them are viable, some of them aren't. Uh, so we'll go through anyway. So the smallest one here you see uh, usually attached a little disc drive. Now it does contain copper within here, but breaking these apart and getting a tiny bit of copper out, you know, it's it's not really worth it. Uh, so I just really throw that in my steel pile. Uh, what I would say though is this piece here, the spindle, that can commonly be copper, uh, not copper, sorry, brass. So it's worth just pulling the brass ones off. Uh, as you see, I've got a, my little box here that says the little pieces of brass that I've taken off all these mortars. So these are the ones I've done in the last couple of nights. And like I say, as you can see, you know, that one there is brass. Okay, so you, you do get the brass ones. Uh, I think some of them are aluminium. Uh, or it may even be, you know, tin coated brass, but I only uh, take the, the ones that are coloured brass and put them in my brass pile. Okay, I'll cover off a few other bits as well that you'll see in that. So that's the small one. As I say, you can take it apart. There is two little uh, pieces of uh, copper wire on a little spindle inside each of these halves but it's very small uh, and it's a pain in the backside to try and get out the next one you can see so this is a kind of very thin motor very thin wheel motor and as you can see kind of underneath there you can see there is copper okay so the best thing you do there is actually just get a little wedge in between that gap and you can wedge it straight off uh, and once you wedge it off it comes out like that so that's your top piece 
Okay, as you can see in the middle here, there is a nice bit of brass and there's a little bit of aluminium right in the center. Uh, and you can pop that piece of aluminium out of that just by banging through the, uh, the little dot on the top there. Okay, that's just a little uh, metal rod that goes through it and you can pop that right out. And if you do that, what you have is a little bit of brass like that. Yeah. So, you know, not all of them have it like that. Some of them are aluminium as well. But uh, it's quite a lot of them that are brass. So, uh, you know, you're not just harvesting the steel. You're not just harvesting the copper. You are actually harvesting brass from these little mortars. Uh, and you'll be surprised how much brass you, you get out of them. Okay, so there's that's how you get the brass out of that piece. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to be left with this little bit. And... You know, you stick a screwdriver or a small screwdriver in there, you just pop that right out. Uh, as I say, it's only attached to the ferrite magnet around the edge. So it's easy, easy to pop out. And then you have your little your little spindle. Okay. So all you do there is you'll cut that little bit off there and you can just start unwinding it. You can just cut it. You know, cut the pieces off and stick them in your pile like that. Uh, I don't know, something therapeutic and unwinding it for me, so that's what I do. Okay, so that's that one. That's the thin one. You've then got a different kind of version, which is more or less the same. But as you can see, it's uh, a little bit thicker. It's got a bit on top here as well. So there is actually a little uh, magnet on top here. And there's a little spring underneath that as well. Uh, but the actual spindle itself looks relatively the same size. But actually when you pop that off, it is a little bit bigger. So, you know, I've got one here. As you can see, it is a little bit bigger. The wire's a little bit thicker. And it's a little bit better quality. Yeah. Uh, again, you just put a screwdriver in between that pit there. And you're just wedging it off. And it should pop off nice and easy once you've done that, because it'll just be the magnet that's keeping it on. Let's see if I can pop this one off with one hand. There we go. So, there's the ferrite magnet inside. Okay. Again, sometimes this can be uh, brass inside there. Uh, I do sometimes pop these tops off because there's sometimes a little plate of brass in there as well. Uh, I'll see if I can give you an example from my little brass pill. Yeah, there you go. So that was my little brass plate. I popped off one. I didn't think there was anything underneath that, but I popped that off and there was a little brass plate. So, again, a little bit of brass. Uh, but as I say, you know, once you've got that off, it leaves... Your little spindle, as you can see, again, nice, uh, thicker spindle than the first one that we showed. And it uh, could be a little bit of brass in the centre of that as well. Maybe brass, may not be. And just do the old magnet test uh, once you get out. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that's brass as well. So, that's the second size. You then go slightly thicker, this little DC more. Uh, these things have got kind of little indents that keep the, the top on. And to get them off can be quite difficult. I use uh, the old wire snips uh, and just uh, move them uh, out so I can then pop the lid off. Commonly what I'll do is I'll move them out, I'll pull this little piece off and then I'll just smack the top of that pin uh, and that usually just pops that lid off. Okay. Uh, Inside there, there's tiny little brushes, uh, but they're absolutely tiny. I'm not sure if they're silver. Uh, it could be a little tiny bit of brass there as well. I can focus on it. Okay. But not a lot. It's just a bit of steel. And this is the kind of uh, piece you get out of it. Okay. So that little piece there. Again, what you want to do is just 
bang it on top and take that little spindle out and as you can see there's only kind of three spindles on that one inside uh, that the wire's wrapped around uh, but yeah it's a uh, good quality stuff as you can see a little bit on top there that's probably thought was maybe brass but seems to be sticking to the magnet so it's clearly not brass but yeah it can be decept deceptive so always just do the magnet test but as I say banging that on top that piece will just pop out uh, I'm not sure if I've got one sitting around that I can show you Pause it for a second and I'll pop that one out so I can show you. Okay, popped it out, and there we go. There's a little spindle with the uh, copper wire wrapped around it. So, again, you can just cut these, pull them off, or you can unwrap it. If you grab that a little bit there and just let it dangle, it'll probably unwrap itself. But yeah, sometimes uh, I just cut it off just for quickness. If you're going through a lot of these, it can take forever. Uh, so cutting out is probably the best option. So that is this size more. Next we go to slightly bigger size. Okay, almost identical was the one next to it. But as you can see, it is slightly bigger. So pop the lid off of that one. Again, little brushes on top, a little bit of brass there, not a lot, uh, and then they'll open more. So once again, same kind of spindle, I'll not pop this one out because you've already seen the last one, it's pretty much similar, but it is a little bit bigger. Uh, so, you know, hopefully there's a little bit more wire on it. Uh, it's certainly a bigger one so yeah it hope to be a little bit more wire so again you just pull that out bang it on the bottom that'll drop out stick that in your steel pile and uh, take the wire off of that and then stick the rest in your steel pile as well okay so that's all the kind of ones that are on like little spindles we then come to uh, a slightly different shape as you can see here. Uh, so this shape, again it's got a wee spindle that's poking out the bottom. Again it's got the ferrite in the middle. But on top of this one, you can see so, you know, that's what you would see from the outside. Uh, there's a pin goes in here and a pin that goes in there. It secures that lid on top of it. Uh, but inside here you can see there's nice little bits of brass as well. You can see there's still one of the brushes it you know cleans the, the more uh, on one of them. That can be easily removed. A couple of nice little bits of brass. And inside there it gets a little bit different, so the more looks slightly different. So these are kind of the same motors you get on lot larger motors ones you get uh, like out of hoovers and things like that these are usually slotted inside uh, a big kind of metal hexagon and there's copper wire wound around the hexagon and then these things are normally slotted right in the middle of them when you're, when you're talking about bigger versions of the motor uh, but again these are nice and easy to get off you can just break that bit piece off here and these bits around the top here they are copper as well. They are surrounded by a little bit of ferrite, uh, but they are copper, so you can uh, you can harvest it. If you can get a better uh, focus on it. Okay, so a little bit of copper around there, as well as that nice copper wire. And as you can see, it's quite thick copper wire going around that. So that's a nice little bit. Okay, it's probably most of that weight is the copper in that, very little steel. Uh, and then a little bit of brass on top that you can take off as well. <coughs> so 
and then start getting into the bigger motors. <clears throat> and really, the only difference here is that the bigger motors just mean a bigger one of these. Yeah. Again, you can see the copper uh, round this one a lot easier. But again, you can see the nice bright wire. Now, sometimes when you get these out of hoovers, ones like that, they can be aluminium wire, look like copper, but actually they're aluminium. See a lot of it more often nowadays. Uh, people try and cut costs and you don't get as many of them uh, that are copper. You get a lot of them now that are aluminium. But still, you know, still the smaller ones are usually always copper. I've not seen any aluminium ones that are small. Yeah, they're usually always copper. So, again, you take that little bit of copper off the top as well. And you can pop this bit off so you can see the ferrite. So you can see the ferrites in behind it. Focus is terrible. Yeah, there you go. So that's a little bit of ferrite sitting behind that little copper plate. Okay, but again, nice bit of copper wire in there. You can just pop this whole top piece off uh, as you get my wire snips in there. And I'll wedge it out. Uh, and so I've got that piece sitting and then I can just unwind all this stuff uh, and again just snip it with the wire cutters and then pull it through the other side that's how I do it uh, again good if you've got a nice thin little kind of wedge or something in there I've got a really small screwdriver uh, oh, see that? Yep. it's a very small screwdriver it's great to get that kind of wedged in and you can pull the wire through with that. Now as I say, you get to the bigger motors. I've not actually opened these up yet. And the reason I've not done that is because to actually get the motor like that out, you need to take this bomb spindle off. Uh, and it's not that easy with these bigger motors. In terms of wedging them out, so usually I just get a grinder and cut them off. Then pull the motor out. Uh, and then uh, yeah you can do exactly the same obviously it'll just be a bigger version of this one and then we get bigger still uh, these bigger ones usually have a fan on them as well so you can see the fan on the inside there yeah so that needs to be removed uh, and the spindles commonly can be brass as well but that's quite a heavy one that one uh, and you can see the brass connectors on the top as well, so they'll go inside and the the brushes as well And then this one So I just broke that open there so you can see kind of inside the copper uh, top And then the copper wire inside it These ones actually had brushes as well from either side And they were brass So that's how they were. Okay, so I'll remove them. Got a little bit of plastic stuck to it, but I can remove that. Okay, so there's brass to be found. As I say, you know, looking at, you know, there's a brass spindle from one of them. A little cog, rather than a spindle. Keep seeing spindle. Other ones. You know, on the bottom of the motors, like that. And like everything, you know, it all adds up. So there's little pieces all over there. And that will all add up. Oh, there's a little silver connector in there. But that will be brass as well. It's just, uh, it's tin coated brass. Okay, most of your electrical connectors are brass. Just something we we be aware of, and that's it. You know, you can uh, you can sell them all as motors, leave them like that, uh, and sell them as motors to the scrapyard. They'll take them. As I say, it's about twelve pence a kilo. Or you can do what I do: harvest the brass, harvest the copper, and uh, take it all apart. It's quite therapeutic, I think. Uh, as I say, the bigger ones, they all have little brushes inside, like this as well. And they're all copper as well. Uh, sorry, brass, no copper. They're brass. Okay, so I think hope they uh, found that one useful. 
as I said, it's each to their own on these. Uh, you know, it may just be far too time consuming uh, for you to for to do these to take them apart. You may just you know rather save the time, the effort, uh, and uh, take them with the scrapyard as is, and that's fine, no problem at all. You know, each to their own, as I say. To me, I like to take it apart and I like to build my copper pile. Copper for me is uh, the number one metal that I like to go for, so you know I like to increase that pile as much as I can whenever I can. So if that means painstaking uh, taking apart all of these things, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well for the next video. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.